Hi friends, good morning. Welcome to my channel, Balu Master. Today I am going to discuss Target Comet K 2020 Part 2 Friends. Friends, very important point. First of all, the preparation for Comet K is what? So friends, very clearly, the preparation for Comet K and KSET both are almost equal. So whatever syllabus is there in KSET, the same syllabus they will follow Comet K, but extra few more concepts will be there in Comet K friends. So that's what, uh, whatever sessions I did in KSET, uh, please watch if you are not watching till now. So because it will be 100% helpful for your Comet K examination friends. Few concepts uh, like this kind of concepts and uh, circles, pair of straight lines, so ellipse, hyperbola, these kind of coordinate concepts they are going to give in depth uh, in Comet K syllabus. Whereas in KSET, those related questions they are asking very easily. In Comet K, they are given bit little bit complicated. So all those questions which I didn't cover in KSET syllabus, uh, those syllabus I'll revise for you friends. Uh, daily one by one so that's what uh, whatever previous concepts i did in case at the same syllabus it will follow for comment k also that's what you you please watch which topics i done on KSET as well as the previous shortcuts whatever I discussed all the shortcuts you work out definitely it will be helpful friends coming to here friends I'll start today's session the questions this kind of questions usually they're asking friends the question is the tenth digit in one factorial plus four factorial plus seven factorial plus ten factorial twelve factorial thirteen factorial fifteen factorial and seventeen factorial so they're asking this factorial sum friends first of all you have to know one important point friends the question they can ask not only like this the question they can ask the factorial symbol they can use like this also one factorial plus four factorial plus some seven factorial plus so on like this why because uh, the factorial symbol either like this kind of symbol or else this kind of symbol they are going to use so that's what both represents factorial only please keep on your mind friends coming to next uh, what is the given question first of all let us understood the question is uh, what is a tenth digit tenth digit in this uh, factorial sum they are asking friends very very easy concept friends uh, first of all if you know what is tenth digit so first First of all, for example, friends, for example, a number it is like that uh, 7321586 is there, friends. So, whenever this number is there in this number, so 6 is nothing but units place, 8 is nothing but tens place, 5 is nothing but hundreds place, 1 is nothing but thousands place, so on will come like this, friends. So, units place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place, like that. So, they are asking here tens place, friends. Tens place, friends means so the question they're asking this digit is what in the factorial sum in this factorial sum that digit is what they're asking so very very easy to evaluate friends look at here friends very clearly one factorial plus four factor means uh, let us simplify first uh, one factorial can be written as uh, one only friends one factorial is equals to one. First of all how you are going to evaluate factorial n factorial is there means you can able to write n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 so on 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so that number to till 1 you write down that is what that multiplication is nothing but the factorial result so for example 4 factorial you want means the result is what friends 4 factorial is equals to 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that's what 4 3 is at 12 12 into 24 so 24 is your answer write down 24 friends friends very very important basic point here if you want a tens place means just you concentrate on units place and tens place if they're asking hundreds place means just you concentrate uh, concentrate on units place tens place and hundreds place that's all if they're asking tens place means you no need to concentrate on what is hundreds place and what is thousands place that's what the meaning is friends if they're asking this number means uh, what about this number what about this number what about this number not necessary at all friends that's what friends in all the factorial notations last two digits enough friends it will cover units place as well as tens place coming to seven factorial if you write friends seven factorial result
result is nothing but uh, 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. This is nothing but 5040 friends. What is the result? 5040. In this result, you don't want complete value. Just last two digits only I am copying friends. That is what 40. Why? Because I want this sum only. So coming to next friends, 10 factorial. 10 factorial means 10 factorial means 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 factorial continuation. 7 factorial result already you have. That is what 5040. Friends, if you observe this 10 whenever you are multiplying here, this 10 whenever you are multiplying here, obviously you will get it a 504 double zero you will get it. So whenever that will get double zero, the remaining value is not necessary. These results are double zero. Friends, please observe carefully 10 factorial only gives double zero means so obviously 12 factorial also containing 10 that's what you'll get it double zero only the hundreds place thousand place only way may vary so that's what uh, this result double zero this result double zero double zero double zero uh, in units place and tens place that's what you no need to consider remaining all results no need to consider remaining all results just if you add all the values you are getting uh, 1 plus 4 5 so 5 plus 2 4 plus 2 6 that's what uh, units place is 5 and tens place is what friends 6 so they're asking tens place your answer is what friends 6 is your answer friends in your options 4 given wrong answer 5 given wrong answer 7 given wrong answer friends in the answer also small twist is given 3 factorial is nothing but 3 into 2 that is what the result is 6 friends so 6 is the correct answer friends coming to the next question friends the remainder of 1 factorial whole square plus 2 factorial whole square plus 3 factorial whole square plus 100 factorial whole square is divisible by 10 Square. So that is your question friends. So very simple question only friends. Just let us write down what is the given information. 1 factorial can be written as 1 factorial into 1 factorial plus 2 factorial 1 factorial whole square can be written as 1 factorial into 1 factorial. 2 factorial whole square can be written as 2 factorial into 2 factorial. Similarly 3 factorial into 3 factorial plus 4 factorial into 4 factorial plus so on plus 100 factorial into 100 factorial which is a divisible by 10 square given that's what whole by 10 square you are going to read whole by 10 square next coming to here friends what you are going to do one factor into one factor means a one into one plus two factor into two factor means two into one two so that's what two into two then coming to three factorial into three factorial means six into six plus four factor into four factor 24 into 24 next coming to next one five factor into five factorial 120 into 120 plus so on plus you don't know the value of 100 factorial that's what keep write down as 100 factorial only whole by 10 square 10 square means 100 <clears throat> if you observe friends very clearly if you observe very clearly what you understood friends 1 into 1 1 plus 2 into 2 4 plus 3 into 6 into 6 36 plus 24 into 24 576 plus 120 into 120 no need to multiply look at friends while you are multiplying 0 into 0 double 0 you are getting this double 0 this double 0 cancel that's what uh, this continuation values will be divisible by 100 so this is not divisible this is not divisible this is not divisible not divisible but these continuation values double zero why because here only you are getting double zero means every value containing double zero that's what uh, whenever these quantity is divisible by double zero you no need to consider so that's what uh, the problem you should stop here only whole by 100 that's what this sum is nothing but 617 by 100. They're asking reminder friends. Just they're asking reminder. So how you are going to evaluate reminder? 100, 617. So that's what 600 into 6, 600. That is what 17. The reminder is what friends? 17 is the reminder. So 17 is the reminder. Which option correct friends? The second option is correct friends. Coming to third question, friends, the digit in units place of 5 over 834 is what? 
so very simple question friends 5 power 834 in this expansion this simplification they're asking units place units place means what friend units place means this is the units place so here units place is 6 so like that in this uh, uh, simplification what is the units place they're asking how to crack this kind of questions look at friends first of all whenever this kind of questions you want uh, look at once uh, uh, like this kind of analysis friends 5 power 1 is equal to what friends 5 5 square is equal to what units place only I'm writing friends 5 square is equals 25 units place is 5 5 cube is equals to what 125 that's what units place is 5 only 5 power 4 is equals to what 6 25 into 25 625 of course units place is 5 only so 5 power whatever value you are going to get units place is 5 only friends for example if you try for 5 power 5 again it repeats so that's what again it gives same values 5 only so yes. it has 5 power 4 whole power 4 to the 4 8s so that's what 5 power 4 whole power 2 not 8 that's what this is 32 that's what 5 square this is 832 into 5 square 5 power 4 gives 5 only 5 power any value gives 5 only only 5 square equal 25 units plus 5 only 5 into 5 equal 25 so that's what 5 only units plus friends the units plus is 5 is the correct answer friends of course you can able to write directly here only 5 power 834 why because 5 power whatever value you are going to get 5 you can able to write directly but if it is coming different values like 5 3 2 1 that time how to do the sum means uh, like this kind of approach we should go that's what uh, i did uh, the sum by using this method for this particular question you can able to write directly by using this information only the answer is 5 why because uh, 5 power whatever value you are getting units plus you are getting 5 only that's what you can able to tick the answer as 5 coming to next question the remainder when 3 power 100 into 2 power 50 is divisible by 5 so there are reminder friends so just very easiest question look at carefully so 3 power 100 into 2 power 50 which is divisible by 5 so 3 power 100 into 2 power 50 divisible by how much 5 given by 5 that is equals to this can be written as 3 power 50 into 3 power 50 into 2 power 50 whole by 3 we can able to write why because base are equal powers are added again you are getting 3 power 100 only then coming to next i want to write 3 power 50 into whenever powers are equal so you can able to multiply this one that's what 6, 6 power 550 by 3 by 5 So that this is what you are going to write means sir. Now 6 power, 6 power 50 is what? What is the remainder of 6 power 50 to kids friends? So 6 power 1 is gives 6. 6 square gives 36. What is the units place? 6 only. 6 cube, 216. What is the units place? 6 only. 6 power 4. What is the units place? 36 into 36. That's what uh, something like that units place is 6 only. Of course for 6 also the units place you are getting 6 only. So 6 divisible by this 6 whatever 6 power 50 is there that uh, units plus is 6 6 divisible by 5 means the number gives 1 so that's what uh, 3 power 50 into 1 by 5 that is equals to what you are going to write here so this is nothing but this is nothing but 3 power 50 now 3 3 power analysis 3 power 1 equal to 3 3 square is equals to not 3 friends that is 9 3 cube is equals to 27 units plus 7 3 power 4 is equals to 3 power 4 is equals to 81 units place is 81 so i want to choose this part why because 1 power anything 1 gives that's what 3 power 4 whole power this can be written as 3 power 4 whole power 4 ones are 4 4 twelves are 12 into 4 48 then remains 3 square by 5 3 power 4 1 means 1 power anything gives 1 that's what 1 into 3 square 9 by 5 now they are asking remainder friends 9 by 5 means 5 9 5 ones are 5 so 4 this 4 is nothing but a reminder of this question friends so which option correct means fourth option is correct answer friends coming to next question friends the last digit in 7 power 300 here also friends last digit units place both are same only so that's what last digit they're asking means 7 power 100 7 power 300 is equals to just write down the 7 analysis 7 7 power 1 equal to 7 7 square is equals to 49 units place is 9 7 cube is equals to 49 into 7 3 so 7 power 4 is equals to 49 into 49 
you need places one friends so that's what uh, so now again i'm going to select seven power four friends why because you should give first priority per for one why because uh, one power anything gives one so seven power four whole power 300 is then means what we can able to rate friends 75 so uh, this is what uh, if you multiply this is what 300 7 power 4 means 1 power 75 that is what 1 so the units place compulsory gives 1 only friends so the option is third option friends coming to next one the GCD of 1080 and 675 is equals to dash very simple question friends 1080 675 GCD you want means uh, 675 1080 right now like this friends 675 ones are 675 504 this is what 675 ones are 405 072 so this is what 405 this is what you are going to write 270 into ones are 270 ones are that is what 5 10 minus 7 3 that is what 3 minus 1 3 minus 2, 1. So, th 3 135 is there, 270 is here. Exactly 135, 2 times will be cancelled. 135 to 2 gives 270. That's what the remainder is 0. You should do this process still you will get the reminder as zero friends that is what gcd then which number is your gcd means this 135 only 135 only your gcd friends so which option correct friends your option is 135 second option is correct friends friends this is for today's class friends so definitely whatever topics which which topics i didn't cover in case at uh, my videos and case at my sessions uh, those topics i'll cover here and definitely i'll help for you friend thank you very much friends thanks a lot